morning, Judy. How have you been since our last appointment? Morning, Doctor Emmanuel. Well, not great, to be honest. The hair loss is really getting to me. I understand. It can be quite challenging. Before we dive into that, can you tell me how the hair loss has been affecting you? The impact on your self-confidence, self-esteem, and overall quality of life. It's been tough. I never expected to deal with something like this at my age. I used to feel good about my appearance, and now it's just really hard to look in the mirror and not see the person I used to be. I can imagine that this has taken a toll. I also want to ask about any triggers you might have noticed, any emotional stress, anxiety, or depression that could be connected. Well, it all started during a really stressful time at work, but I've always been a bit stressed. I never thought it would make my hair fall out. Stress can indeed manifest in various ways. It's important for us to manage that aspect too. Have you tried any coping strategies or sought support from friends or family? I've tried to stay positive, but it's hard, and I haven't really talked to anyone about it. It's okay to lean on others for support, Julie. We'll explore coping strategies together. Also, have you made any changes to your diet or nutrition that might be relevant? Not really. I've always tried to eat healthy. That's good to know. Now about treatments. Have you used any over-the-counter preparations or undergone any treatments in the past? I've tried some over-the-counter stuff, but nothing seemed to work. That's why I'm here, hoping you can help me figure this out. I appreciate your openness. We'll certainly explore all the possibilities. Before we go further, I'd like to do a physical examination. I'll check the nature and extent of the hair loss and look for any signs of inflammation or scarring. Is that all right? Sure, Doctor Emmanuel. I just want to get to the bottom of this. Thank you, Judy. I appreciate your cooperation. Let's begin the examination. I'll start by checking the nature and extent of the hair loss on your scalp, Julie. Based on the examination, it appears that you have alopecia areata. I know this can be overwhelming, but I want you to know that we have options for managing it. Alopecia what? Alopecia areata. It's a condition where the immune system mistakenly attacks the hair follicles, leading to hair loss. The good news is that there are ways to address it. Now, I understand you've been through a lot, and it's impacting your well-being. It's crucial for us to consider not just the physical aspects, but also how this is affecting you emotionally. I just want my hair back, Doctor Emmanuel. Is that possible? I hear you, Julie. While we can't guarantee a complete restoration, we do have treatment options to induce hair regrowth. Before we delve into that, I want to discuss some essential aspects. Firstly, I want to ensure you have access to information and support. There are patient leaflets and support groups that can provide valuable insights. Support groups, like people going through the same thing. Exactly. It can be immensely helpful to connect with others who understand what you're experiencing. There's a charity called Alopecia UK, and they offer information and even local support groups. Sometimes sharing experiences can make the journey a bit easier. I might look into that, but what about the hair? Can anything be done? Absolutely. For cases where there's evidence of hair regrowth, like short, fine hair, we may not need immediate treatment. However, if you're keen on exploring options, we can consider a trial of a topical corticosteroid. It's a step we can take in primary care. It's essential to manage expectations. Regrowth may take some time, and we'll monitor your response. Corticosteroid. Is it safe? Yes, it's a commonly used treatment. However, like any medication, it has potential side effects. We'll discuss those thoroughly, and I'm here to address any concerns you might have. All right, Doctor Emmanuel. I'm willing to try anything to get my hair back. I appreciate your openness, Julie. We'll proceed with the corticosteroid trial, and I'll provide detailed instructions on how to use it. Also, I'll arrange a follow-up to monitor progress and discuss any changes or concern. Meanwhile. Remember that I'm here to support you every step of the way. Great, Judy. Before we conclude, are there any questions or concerns you'd like to discuss further? Well, what if the corticosteroid doesn't work? Is there anything else I can try? That's a valid concern. 
If for any reason the corticosteroid doesn't yield the desired results, or if you choose not to continue with it, we have other avenues to explore. I might consider referring you to a dermatologist. They specialize in skin conditions, including alopecia areata, and can provide more advanced treatments. Dermatologist? Does that mean more tests or complicated procedures? Not necessarily. Dermatologists have expertise in treating conditions like alopecia areata. They might suggest options like intralesional corticosteroids, topical minoxidil, or even oral medications based on your specific situation. Rest assured, we'll discuss any recommendations thoroughly, and you'll have the opportunity to make informed decisions about your care. Okay. I appreciate you explaining everything, Dr. Emanuel. It's just a lot to take in. I completely understand, Julie. Dealing with a new diagnosis can be overwhelming. Remember, you're not alone in this. We're here to work together on a treatment plan that suits your needs and preferences. And, of course, I'll be here to answer any questions that may come up along the way. Thank you, Dr. Emanuel. I'll try the corticosteroid and we'll go from there. That sounds like a good plan, Julie. We'll keep a close eye on your progress, and we can adjust our approach as needed. If you ever feel uncertain or have questions between our appointments, don't hesitate to reach out. I will. Thanks again, Dr. Emmanuel. My pleasure. Julie, take care, and we'll be in touch soon.